Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is October 5th, uh, Wednesday evening, 2022. What time is it, hon? It is 7.24. 7.24, and doesn't my hair look wonderful? Actually, it's falling out. I had a ponytail. It's been a day of it. Let me pull this up. I don't need to be seeing cleavage. Um, it's been a day of it. Nothing bad. Um, I just, you know how you woke up and you're just like super tired? I could not get my stuff together to save my life, could I, earlier? No. There was no, we ended up going back to sleep for about an hour. Well, we tried to, but Beluga had Charlie kept barking <laughs> and whining and winding up on the beds. We were, we were both on my bed. We decided to take a little nap. But I did pull it out. I did. Um, I managed to, my wax melts came in, put those away, you know, and to me, I got to rotate stuff and, and yeah, it's a thing. Um, and then I did get the Halloween stuff sorted and I did get, um, it, uh, put out here inside the house, Brad did outside of the house. Um, he's got, uh, these, we bought them from Dollar Tree. Um, a couple years ago, they're like skeletons, but they've got the arms and they've got the long, flowy black cloth. So we have, what do we have? Four of those? Um. Four or five. We have one, one witch one. One witch. I think three of the others. Three of the other ones. And then, um, like a, a skeleton that, that kind of glows in the dark and a witch's head that does the same. And so I have my Halloween flags out too. I have a witch's head hanging from from a, um, a shepherd's crook that attaches to the deck. Because um, she was bought from uh, Dollar General when Brad worked there. And she's got like the long black hair. She's got a green face. She's cute. Yeah, she's cute. And then <clears throat> inside here, let me show you guys. I'll switch this around. Now, mind you, don't mind us, but Brad has a lot of uh, stuff kind of in the way. Let me zoom. See, I have my lit up thing there, my pumpkin. I got a little village thing going on here. Um, so that stuff is from Dollar Tree, and then we'll take you guys around. Hope you don't get too dizzy. I have right there, and that's a fake fireplace heater thing. So, um... I have that, and then over here, I have, let me zoom out, okay, I have just some stuff my hair curl needs to be shoved back in there, but yeah, so, that's what I got going on, um, I have just the decorations here in, in the, in the, uh, kitchen and front room, so, but, I noticed today that, it was so much easier getting up. Oh, you guys are moving. <laughs> Sorry. Sit and stay. Yeah. You got, I noticed today it was so much easier getting up and down and moving around just to decorate the house. Um, yeah, my shirt's getting kind of big on me. Um, <clears throat> and that was really nice. Because I was in and out of the front door and stuff. I have a little... Um, happy halloween sign i put in with my front door wreath um but uh i have another sign outside that says welcome to our web these are all come from dollar tree i have these wonderful i don't have any right here yeah i do i have one i have these wonderful ceramic pumpkins these all came from the dollar tree oh like six seven years ago so i have a bunch of these um I was laughing because a lot of my decoration, like you saw the little um, monster and Dracula sitting on the fireplace. Those are from Dollar Tree. I have some lovely other pieces. They're from Dollar Tree, and I mean, they're nice. So, you know, I'm almost like decorations from Dollar Tree. You know, so, um, yeah. That's all very cool. So, um, that's what we've been doing. I got everything done today I wanted to get done, except for I didn't mess with the printer. I'm going to do that sometime before Sunday. Tomorrow we're going magnet fishing. 
We've been working hard. I know I look tired. We've been working hard on turning on. Still trying to turn the sleep pattern around. See, last night, Brad slept really well. It was my turn not to. And that was my fault. I stayed up too late. If I stay up too late, even though I've taken my night meds, then I kind of get overly tired and can't sleep. My fault, totally. Um, I'll, I'll be more careful tonight. But, yeah, he slept really well. But tomorrow we are going magnet fishing. And I'm going to just kind of make a day of it. Being outside, I'll bring a sketch pad. I'll make sure I bring lots of sunblock, sunscreen, some bug spray. Um, you know, and uh, I'm going to try my hand at magnet fishing too. I've been, this week I've been using some weight. Some It's only like maybe three pounds. On with my arm exercises every other day. And I can tell a difference. I can tell a difference. And Brad can tell that I'm able to move this arm so much better than I was before. Uh, you know, so I'm careful with what I do. Yesterday I did some leg extensions off that weight bank. That was nice. I get in there and ride the bike. And then Brad gets on and he rides the bike after me. And we chat and we watch TV and stuff while we're doing our exercises in my bedroom. It's, it's quite a nice time. Don't you think? Uh-huh. I definitely do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got that all going on. I do have my bag. I'm doing the handle for my bag now. Let me show you guys. Uh, let me see. This is a body part. Yeah. So this is the body part of what will be my bag and this is just scrap yarn that I made a yarn cake out of so that's why it looks the way it is because it's just just to be a bag I'll keep and so you know you'll be able to keep if you were doing a shopping bag and stuff and this see this is pretty tight weave so it would be fine unless you have like a lot of pins and stuff you'd put in there so I'm making the handle for it now which I'm using just some scrap yarn. It's kind of weird. If I'm making something for myself, I just use scrap yarn. You know, I save the nice stuff to make for you guys. So, this is just the handle. It's going to be a thicker handle. Of course, it's going to stay like this, flat and over. But it'll be nice to grab onto, nice stuff. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on. This is a very, this is a very thin it's almost like a three, so I'm doubling it. So that's what I got going on there. I'll probably finish that up tonight. Then I am going to make Jelly Bean a couple more sweaters because she still is on this thing about not wanting to be without a sweater on. Today she went, what, maybe three hours without yeah. one on? She has to have it off, you know, and, and stuff. And, um,. You know, but she has one back on. She had the very first one I made, which was that gray, black, and white striped one. Kind of, we kind of let, let have it be like the, a prison uniform, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that's what we've been doing. I always, I said, of I we use Bluetooth headphones all the time around here, right? I use them at night when I'm doing my concert for Brad. You know, at four in the morning. You didn't even hear me sing last night. I didn't. No, I was out. And, um, like, well, if we're walking around here doing housework and stuff, we both have our headphones on and stuff. And, but so occasionally, after you use them so much, you know, they kind of break. I've had this pair for maybe two, three years. Um, but this side broke. And even though I taped it, I didn't have anything else on hand but some band-aids at the time. It, now it doesn't fit as tight on your head. It's still nice and stuff. And I'll use it just if I'm sitting out here. But I ordered one set of headphones. And I mean, everything I buy is cheap, guys. Like when I was talking about my shoes, the most expensive pair of shoes I might have had or have ever paid for shoes is 30 bucks. I take that back. We did buy one pair of shoes for you that was about 100 bucks one time. Remember? 400 No, we didn't. Yeah, we insurance yeah. wasn't our part 100. Yeah, well, the insurance it was $400. They were custom made shoes, you know, where they do the molding and everything. We our part on it was a hundred dollars. They didn't last any better, feel any better for him than the classic ones. I buy my shoes normally from Walmart or whatever. 
uh, Payless shoes when we had one of those um, when they had coupons but um, and the same way with my headphones they're under 20 bucks I'm a cheap ass I'm gonna admit it so but I bought one pair and they were so horrible I actually paid like a dollar more than I paid for Brad's they sounded like a tin can now I I only have half of my hearing don't feel bad for me. I can't miss what I've never had, right? But the higher range is gone. Always has been. So, I really enjoyed a lot of bass. Because um, there's just some things like with a flute and a violin and a piano and stuff. The higher keys, I've never heard. But this sounded like a tin can. It was horrible. So, I'm going to return those. I bought another set that was just like the ones that... Brad that I just bought. Oh, sorry guys that I just bought Brad. Um, and um, so they're these. And I don't know who makes them. The wireless. Wireless. Whoa, you guys are leaving again. Sorry. Are you just tossing them around? Like I am, man. I guess so. So sorry guys. I gotta dig out that boxy. Let's see. This is all it says right here. They're from Amazon. Headphones, stereo. They're like $17. Uh, yeah, they don't have a brand name on them. Really? But they're very nice. It's, it's got a memory card. You could do that. You could do the radio. It's got nice button controller. Um, so yeah, they're just, Brad has a black pair. These are really nice. These were under $20, like I said, I think it was $17, free shipping. I can beat that. So, um, yeah. My music is very important to me. If I'm really, we talk about mental health and we talk about what we can do and nobody can fix you but you. Therapists can help, psychiatrists can help, medications can help, but it all depends on you, though. The problem is getting your headspace right. Nobody can do that but you. Nobody can make you have a positive attitude but you. Nobody knows what you've gone through mentally but you. So you have to work really hard to fix yourself. And just because maybe you're, like, today I'm having a great day. Sometimes it's not so great. And there's nothing that's happened. It's just something that happened. So, they're going to start in because Brad's getting ready to feed him. Just want to warn you guys. Um, but my music is very important to me. Because if I'm having trouble sleeping, a lot of times I'll put on my headphones and I'll just lean back on the bed. And I'll just concentrate on the music and stuff. It'll help me fall asleep. If I'm feeling kind of down, up, I'll listen to upbeat music only. Don't listen to some sad country western, everything is wrong in my life songs. Because that'll just make you even more depressed. But, you know, or some sad, sad, love lost, sappy songs. Don't, know. You want to, you know, walking on sunshine type music, right? So, but it's very important to me. That is something that I do turn to. I don't have as much issues with depression currently as I have had. You guys have seen me go through it. It's like when this thing happened with finding out about my father and stuff. It kind of took me for a spin for a bit. It affected me more than I ever let on. Brad knows it did. Yeah. Um, and it was, that was a hard thing to, to get over. Um, you know, uh. You, you digest it, you come to terms with it, and you move on. You're like, I don't control what other people do. My feelings about that situation were absolutely dead on. You know, and maybe now people can understand why I am not close with my, my uh, parents and siblings. Obviously, you know. What are you doing, Jelly Bean? Oh, my goodness. Is she being silly? Oh, yeah, she's going all over the floor being happy. She knows she's going to be fed pretty soon. Are you hungry, Jelly Bean? Are you hungry? Oh, Charlie, I know. Okay. See, you started it this time. Go, Charlie. 
Charlie, go. Go. Go out there. He's going out there. Go tell Dad. No, don't tell Dad. So, um, anyway, you have to work on your own positive mental headspace. If you are having a hard time struggling, and I believe me, I know it's so hard. I have tried to commit S before. Almost succeeded at the point of not being here. Thankfully, I am still here. Um, and I made Brad a promise I would never do that again. And I won't. Um, and I wouldn't give other people the satisfaction of thinking they drove me to that point. And that's the honest truth. Um, you know, they want to make you miserable. People that are abusive to you want to make you miserable. That's how they get off. That's what makes them feel good, to make somebody else feel bad. To, have, to feel like other people are beneath them, not as good as them. And uh, um, So don't let them do that. Uh, don't let them win. If you want to be in competition, I'll, compet I'll be in competition with you. You're going to wish you hadn't because, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm never going to stoop to their level. I'm never going to play the head games they do. I just cease to have communication with them. Go get your jollies and go get your abusive, toxic attitude, actions on somebody else. And it won't be me. You know, I've gone through enough stuff in my life. Some very, very hard things. Some things that you guys don't have any idea about that I'm not going to talk about. With Those things have happened that I've not even ever talked to Brad about. And I pro there are some things that just never will with anybody. Nixie. So, and now Nixie's telling Brad how hungry she is. She's very hungry, Dad. Yes, she is. And, um, yeah, so, I mean... We've all gone through some stuff. You can take the person that you think has had such an easy life, and you might be really surprised at what they've gone through. It may be somebody you're really close to that you never realized they went through this. You know, um, so, but I'll do things like draw. I will write. I will listen to music. You know. When, after I found out about my father and stuff, it was quite a while while I couldn't get sleep without Brad being there. I felt like I, I just felt like I needed to be protected in some kind of way. You know, so you're going to go to the person closest to you in the whole world who makes you feel safe and secure. So, but anyway, I just, I just tell you guys what works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, but this is what works for me. And, you know, Obviously, I need more sleep if you look at my eyes today. I need a little more sleep. I'll be sleeping tonight. Mm -hmm. Right, Jelly Bean? Oh, my goodness. She's down here just love. You want to come here, Jelly Bean? Come here. If you don't know what to do. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, my goodness. See, I got my little gel suit on now. I got my little gel suit on right now, don't you? See, Mom trimmed up my face again last night. What do you do at 4 o'clock in the morning when you can't sleep? You trim up the poodle's face because she's laying on your lap all relaxed. She'll just let lay there and let you do it. So I trimmed up her ears, trimmed up her teddy bear cut on her face a little bit more. Nixie. So anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to get off here. Um, and we're probably I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what we're doing tomorrow out there at the lake. So anyway, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. I think you guys are awesome, and if you're new here, please like and subscribe if you want to. It's never a must. Share it with other people you think might enjoy it. Um, if you look at the very, I know somebody asked, I think Barbara, uh, the very first link of um, when I was talking about Brad having his own channel, down in the comments, I gave a link. Because the link I provided on the description wasn't correct. So if you if you follow that, then you can subscribe to him. I can't find an easier way to get to his channel right now. I'm not sure why. You know, but we'll get it we'll get it worked out. So anyway, I love you guys, and I hope you're having a great day. Remember, do something nice for somebody else, like feed the dogs. 
Do something nice for yourself. Brad fed me, so I'm happy about that. And, um, I forgot what to say. Oh, and always, you guys, say bye to Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. <laughs>